So, what's up? This is the Bloody Dragons. I'm back uh, with another series of, well, probably pointless matches where I'm trying to qualify for a major tournament, but it's, it's damn near impossible. Um, last time around, I, was, I came so near, and I think this is the one where you actually have to do it. I was in a really tough uh, group, you can see it here. Uh, with Spain, Ireland, Poland and Slovakia and um, I actually managed to uh, to get the second place but was knocked out in the playoffs by Bulgaria in a really poor match actually a pretty even match but I lost nil, uh, three to nil such a shame uh, and we played horribly in all our away matches I think most of the away matches anyway so I've been trying to come up with a new sort of tactic and it's this one, 4-5-1 basically because I've got lots of good options in central midfield uh, I don't know, they're not world class good but they're pretty good um, but I've also got lots of places with um, trouble forwards where John Hartson and also Craig Bellamy, they have poor form because they don't get any matches. So for this match, I'm choosing Earnshaw. And then uh, also in the central defense, where Kit Simons and Robert Page, they usually play pretty well. But I think by now, Mumford is probably a better choice I'm not sure though, I mean, he's a young guy, but Kit Simons and, and Robert Page, they both, both plays, play in the um, in the second division. I think probably I should use Page, just because he's a good captain. Yeah, I might just do that. Page instead of Giggs, because Giggs only has 14 in influence and I'm not sure about that because, yeah. And then uh, Matthew Jones and Simon Davies, I think they're the midfielders of the future for, for this friend, for this uh, Wales uh, squad. But they might not be good enough just now to, uh, to dominate the England midfield. Kumas should be a good choice. For the central position, a bit different than what he's used to, but yeah. That's Matthew Jones. Huh. Yeah, that should work out fine. Then we've got Mumford on the bench. And I've chosen Steve Jenkins as a right back. He's like sturdy guy, isn't he? And Vaughn, I'd have he's the obvious choice for, for left fullback, but I've had to choose uh, Darren Brace. I've had to call him up. He has no caps in this version of Championship Manager, but I know him from the 97-98 uh, version, uh, where he's also crap, but uh, someone that you'll have to rely on as, as Wales manager, as because you need options on the bench, and so on. I think that's pretty much it. I'm going with an attacking mentality and direct and hard and pressing, because why not? Um, I want to play my chances. And um, this should be interesting against England. And that's using this formation with Kieran Dyer making some sort of run and attacking hard pressing and of side trap okay and it's it's pretty much the usual squad but there's this guy 19 year old chelsea goalkeeper who's been preferred uh for some reason even though he's also lacking match practice uh they usually have this guy on goal but he's also lacking match practice 
but he was the one uh, and, and didn't play a lot for Liverpool last season either but he was the one they chose throughout the uh, European Championship which uh, was recently played and where um, England actually made it to the semi-finals but lost to the eventual winners of the tournament um, Belarus okay let's just start this uh, oh, England looking dangerous right from the uh, get go that's like three attempts on goal already it's going too fast for me Would have been nice with a goal. Uh, but that's one chance, at least. No reason not to test that uh, young goalkeeper. Dangerous challenge. Send him out. Oh. It's very lenient of the referee. Still nil nil. No. Oof. Coin to the rescue. Okay. So I think uh, maybe the combination of um, a conservative formation with being that it's a 4-5-1 with only one forward and then still an attacking mentality, I think that seems to work out all right. I mean, it, it hasn't leaked goals so far, even though we are at Wembley playing against a really good team. What happened? side again they're playing the offside trap on us okay oops one last chance for them oh no 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 Fowler. and Simon Davies is not really performing well and Earnshaw offside. Earnshaw very much so it seems. Um, I don't know about Davies. I sort of have to rely on him to be the creative force. Just give him a free roll. See how that turns out. And then Harson. bit of a different type of forward but I don't know that might be stupid but we're still we're only behind with one goal so let's just keep at it and he was just offside all the time so maybe maybe Hartson with a bit of a more physical playing style will be a better option And now they're ahead 2-0. Yeah, it's fairly comfortable. <sighs> Come. Yes! Kit Simons. Okay.
I don't know about Simon Davies. I can see that he's, his, his passes are not really connecting. And that's what he's here for. He's, he's here for those key passes. But he does make interceptions. I think Paige and Simons are, Kit Simons are playing well enough. The fullbacks are not. Vaughn is playing terribly. What's wrong? Um, and then there's David Pipe. Terrible stuff from him. Potential groin injury. So I'm gonna have to bring on Chris Twitty, I guess. Or just. Yeah, I don't know exactly. Huh. Twitty. A pipe. Uh, yeah. That's one hell of a debut. Go hearts and go twitty. Ooh, that would have been a nice uh, assist to begin your international career with. So I guess the last substitution has to be Simon Davies. So let's just get Andy Johnson on the pitch. Just like that, right? Not a lot of creativity or anything, but he can jump. And he's pretty fast lots of teamwork and stuff yeah let's try it it's I mean this is not terrible this could have been worse we're playing England at Wembley and we still have the chance to get a point if we just score once more now we've used the last substitution we just have to cross our fingers and hope for the best. Yes, Kumas with the free kick. Just come and show show Beckham how it's done. Ah. Maybe I shouldn't have jinxed it. Okay. Hmm. Corner for the English. Good, come on then. No, no, no. Don't. No, Beckham. Right. Okay. Hmm. 
yeah so that's what it was poor performances from Vaughn and Davies and Pipe I mean good stuff from the bench Chris Twitty with the debut I think he did well he managed to make some runs where uh, Pipe really hadn't done anything and Hartson played a lot better than Earnshaw it seems but um, still no points and Latvia they get their first win, win against Slovenia that's a bit surprising Slovenia was actually also at the um, at the recent European Championship so uh, so it's on I mean we're already a bit behind in the World Cup qualification but that's also because the most difficult match has already been played or I don't know if it's the most difficult one we also have an away match in Istanbul um, which um, I think it's the um, the stadium where Galatasaray play plays uh, and what's it called I don't remember but anyway Turkey has um, like Barusti, uh, a really good goalkeeper in this version of, of Championship Manager. And um, I'm pretty sure that's not an easy uh, place to play for an, uh, as an away team. Just want to see, right? I've got news. Okay. Good for them. So everyone's ready. So question is, do I want to do the exact same thing? Probably yes. I don't know about pipe though, because he did play well for, for me a lot of times coming on from the bench is determination 12. But even though Twitty played well when he came on, his determination is not very good. So I think I'll just swap those two just, just for fun because it's... Well, I'm still trying to find out the options that I have that are not Kumas. And I'd rather use him centrally because the other option in a central... The other options in a central or attacking midfield position even would be Simon Davies here or correct Bellamy right and I also want to just use Hartson from the get-go Bellamy no I'd rather have Earnshaw on the bench we've got Pipe here Andy Johnson Evans yeah seems legit And this is a home match and we're going, going to do the same thing attacking direct hard pressing yes everything like that and here we go let's see 442 short and pressing okay should be interesting Mayan Pajas Was it Igor Stepanov's? Oh, it is! That's so funny. This guy, the worst player at Arsenal ever. In this um, championship manager game, it looks a bit like he's supposed to with terrible technique and... Yeah, probably should have worse uh, technical stats, but uh, still... That's uh, that's the panels for you, and apparently he plays in Norwich. Yeah. Right. I'm not scared of him. 
he actually uh, he played for Stepanov's play for my favorite real life group. Oh, come on. Oh, damn it. My favorite real life uh, football club, which is uh, Espia FB from the Danish league. No. Mayan Pass is pretty good. Um, yes. So two goals from Celtic strikers. I'm going to have to take the uh, pace down a little bit because I'm telling stories about Espia and stuff <laughs> while also trying to follow the uh, follow what happens here on the pitch. But anyway, Stepanos was actually playing in Espia at, at one point and one of the selling points that they um, used in the press and everything when they had bought him was that um, when they had signed with him, I think it was on a free transfer, and there was some agent selling him to uh, to SPN. One of the big selling points was that he used to be an Arsenal player, and then it was just, I mean, laughable, um, the way he played. Tweety! So... Things could be better right now. Kumas. Yeah, he just went past like what? Three players or something? And then just did it on his own. Took matters in his own hands. That was cool. That's the kind of thing that I was expecting from him. So now even though... Oh yes, even though things were tr starting to look bleak with them having two attempts on goal and me just one. And now uh, the game has just been turned on its head. They started out with a goal, but this is 3-1. And I'm feeling cautiously optimistic. Even though it's been a crazy um, first 25 minutes now. So who's to say what will happen in the rest of the, the match? And the league table. Looks like this now. Latvia also having uh, also haven't gotten a win. Oh no! No, no need to jeopardize this now. Come on then. This is not going to be just a walkover, is it? So, this should be a lot easier than playing against England. So hopefully my lads can... Uh, step up when they have to so Matthew Jones is not playing very well Kit Simons with the yellow card Steve Jenkins with what looks like an injury yes but Mumford never the same right so I didn't bring a lot of choices I'm gonna have Steve Jenkins substituted with the aforementioned Darren Brace and then I'll just Hold on to the rest of my substitutions uh, until like the 60th minute, I think. Come on. Oh yeah, yes, and that's a hat trick from John Hartson. Okay, so what you got, Latvia? Just shows you that Hartson really is the number one striker on this team, no matter what condition, what match condition is in. Come on then, 
Python again. And that's goal number four. Devastating cross from gigs. So let's just look at these players. Um, so Kit Simons with the yellow card might be someone I should think about subbing. And the midfielders, they're doing interceptions and some of them are doing runs. Kumas is playing really well. And also Chris Twitty. This is cool. With an assist and everything. And Ryan Giggs also plays well. Potential knee injury though. I don't want to gamble with that. So maybe I should just... Yeah, Ryan Giggs. Oh, I don't really have a lot of uh, choices instead of him. Only Kumas, actually. But that's fine. So let's just do this. And have, uh, yeah, Andy Johnson. And then Simon Davies in the middle with a free roll. Free roll like that. And then Johnson. It's okay. You can hold up the ball if you want to. Yeah. Let's just do that. Turkey 1-1 against England at the moment. So we got that last substitution and probably it's just Kit Simons uh, with the yellow card. Let's just do that. Um, because this is not the version of of uh, Championship Manager where, where it says and John Hartson gets a standing ovation when he leaves the field, or whatever it said. Um, if it had been, then I probably would have subbed him, just just to see that. It's really cool. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of this. I could play it fast, but you know, as an international team manager, you don't get a lot of matches. So let's just enjoy. Final whistle. Nothing else happened. Really cool statistics. And Turkey held England to a draw. I'm expecting Turkey to be um, the, um, the other contender for, for second place in this group. Like first place, obviously, but uh, you just saw me against England, and they're the stronger team, I think. But also, Turkey has a really good team. I don't know where like Borusti went, I'm pretty sure he's in this game, but they've got Emwa and Inda, Umit Davala, Hassan Sass, Oktai, Serhurt. Pokan and Alpi, obviously. So lots of players that 
I don't know, they're not world class or anything, but they're pretty good. So what about Hoisty? Is he retired? Nope, he's 31 and out for about two months. So that's probably good news. He's a really good goalkeeper. And yeah, been playing for Fenerbahce in this in this game. Right. So that's four goals from John Hartson. Probably the Welsh record. Would be nice, um, but I'm not sure. I don't know what kind of uh, records the game already has with the player histories and everything but um, anyway this was what I've got for you uh, for now um, except let's just take a look at the fixture list just to see what we've got in store but um, but yeah an away match against England that was pretty cool. And then we got the debut for Chris Twitty, where he actually goes on to, to get a, a rating of 9 and an assist in, in the important... Yeah, see? Four goals scored by John Hartson. A new record. It's a new Wales record. Probably not a World Cup qualification record. But that's nice. Uh, yeah. So, uh, fixture list. We've got the Slovenia match, um, and that's going to be important because we want to keep them down here with no points. Um, but I think, yeah, at the same time, Latvia will be playing against Turkey. So hopefully, Latvia can take points from from. From Turkey in that match. Then we got the Slovenia match. While England plays Latvia and Turkey plays Slovenia a few days later. Alright, so that should be interesting. I want to watch that match as well. And then we've got some matches in well next spring. So this I think next time. I'm just gonna play this match and also if I remember then uh, then I'll show you guys um, the Turkey match uh, what was the name of the stadium that I talked about right so not a name that I would be able to remember anyway but uh, yeah I'm thinking things might heat up in that stadium um, yes I don't know what else to say right now, other than this was not the first, uh, this was not the worst start of this World Cup qualification group. I didn't expect us to take any points from the first match. So, so I guess this was all right. Even though I'm a little bit disappointed in some of these guys, like Vaughn and Davies, but still. I really like the effort from Hartson. So I don't care about his match practice. I'll just uh, use him as my first choice up front. Yeah. So let me w let me know what you think in the comments, and then uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>